Good morning, welcome back. Just looking at how flat my hair is because I haven't really done anything to it. Um, I'm just off out to town and I'm not normally ready this early so I thought this is a good time to start next weekly vlog. Um, not doing anything special, got to pop into the bank, a few bits and pieces, I'm not clothes shopping. But it is a lovely sunny day out there. Well, I've even got sunglasses on my head, which makes a nice change. I'm going to share what I'm wearing. It's a very simple, casual outfit. Um, trousers, mango. These are very old navy. I've got navy boots on, also from mango. I haven't worn these for yonks. Um, I could do with a pair of new navy slim trousers and you know I love the H&M slim trousers, cigarette pants they're called, um, cheap as chips I think they're 17 99 and I know they do them in navy as well, it's one of the only colours I haven't got and there's a new in haul coming very soon so I think I'm going to order I don't know if you can see that, but the zip, this, this piece doesn't flap over, so you can always see that top bit of the zip, and I hate that. It irritates me. Um, Ralph Lauren jacket, you know I got this in the bargain sale, so pleased with it, £200 to £60. Um, if you ever get to go to an outlet and you like Ralph Lauren, buy something in there cheapest chips and get an email receipt because then you get instant access to their special sales and you can't no one else gets it and that's how I got this jacket I thought it was great I tried to actually set uh, share the link on uh, socials because I was so pleased with it and it wouldn't even share so it's quite a secret sale Anyway, jumper, wool overs, this is very old but it's one of my favourites um, and that is about it. I'm off out shopping now, I've got some nice uh, PR goodies to share with you this week and I'll most probably do that when I come back. Speak soon. Well, that didn't work out too well, I think I was only here about... 10 minutes ago but we got into town and Dee feels really sick so I'm gonna go and pick her up again I won't keep her waiting she looks really rough um, I was just looking through the shops and oh let's get rid of the beeping I might pop into town and do a try on haul I was looking to see what I could do there's River Island Roman, you know I'm a big fan of Roman Originals and New Look so I might do that one day and we'll have a little try on of what's new in the stores let me know what you think there's not a lot in our town our town is just about to have a complete overhaul and they're not re renewing any leases or you know there, there's literally nothing I have to drive uh, at least half an hour to get to a decent town to do any form of shopping nowadays and I've got so used to shopping online have you? I mean, everyone, we're all shopping online now, aren't we, after the pandemic? Yes, so, but I might go and do that try on. Never thought of it, really. But yeah, speak soon when we get back. Morning. <laughs> the hair's done, but the makeup isn't. Um, I've had a couple of new things come. And I've not even tried them yet, and I thought I'm going to sample them with you. So that's a bit scary for me because I like to know that something's going to look okay normally before I share it on here. But anyway, I just thought it'd be 
yeah, I'm going to do it. And I'm sorry it was cut short yesterday. Uh, Dee wasn't well yesterday. She's had a terrible cold. Most probably pneumonia. She gets it every year. I thought she was going to end up in hospital yesterday. It was really bad. But, um, they don't think she needs to be in hospital. We'll see how she goes. So if you hear any coughing, it'll be Dee. So I got home. I didn't really do hardly any shopping. And so uh, there wasn't any need to pick the camera up really. It was a bit of a nondescript opening, wasn't it? Anyway, let's get on. I've received these from strawberry.net. Um, I shop on there quite regular. Uh, if you've heard of it before, they do lots of... I don't know if it's discontinued, but they do a lot of discounted skincare and makeup. And they asked if I'd like a couple of new items, and I've chosen a couple. And I've got a special offer as well, so that will be in the box below. But I'm pretty sure I've been wanting this um, by Terry CC Serum for ages. I do have, I do have the CC Serum in rose. This is the rose, and it barely does anything. You know I always use my Trini London normally under my foundations. And someone did mention on the Wonder uh, makeup, how do I know what it looks like because you've got the Trini London on. And that is a fair point. That is a fair point. So I haven't put any Trini London on this morning. All I've got on is... Um, I've just cleansed my face and used my Saint-Tropez face tanning mist and this is the colour that it comes out all the time. No Trini London. But anyway, I didn't like this at all. It, well, I hope that's not going to get too glary. Um, it barely does anything for me. It gives a little bit of a sheen. A, oh, look, nothing wasn't impressed at all but don't know if any of you watch Lydia Millam I do and she uses the brightening CC serum in sunny flash and that was the reason oh I need to break it open um, that was the reason why I ordered this one um, because when I thought I'm gonna order that and then I looked at the colours and I thought surely that would be better for me because she tans all the time. Uh, even though I'm using a tanning mist, I know that my face isn't as dark as hers. But I saw this on the, the strawberry. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to have to get my box opener. It's all sellotaped. I saw this on the strawberry.net. And I thought I'm going to give it another go, give it one more try. So here we are. It was on special. It was cheaper on the strawberry.net than it is on the Bio Terry site. And I thought that was good. It's definitely worth looking at. They have a lot of the Dior eyeshadow palettes. Um, they have Yves Saint Laurent, all the top names. I think last time I got my eight hour cream and that was cheap on there as well. So here it is. So there's a big difference. And that's what we're gonna use first. And then, secondly, oh this isn't, I got the Banana Low Lighter by Rodial. Excuse the now, I've lost the now, I need to redo it. Yeah, so. It looks very, very light, a lot lighter than anything else that I would normally use. And I'm surprised because watching Lydia Millen, it, it goes on and it doesn't look that light on her. I'm hoping it's going to be alright. So let's do it, let's do it. Right, shake. No, it's not got a bead in it. Two pumps, I think. I'm just going to pat it on 
and see what happens. Oh, oh, it's very tanned. I'm not going to put it around my eyes because I need them to be lighter, not darker. Now, as you know, I use the Trini London and uh, when I put that on, oh my goodness, it really does make you seem like you've got a tanned face. I'll have to definitely blend that into the net, that's for sure. Should we put some on the eyes? I think I will. I think I might put some on the... I'm going to have to rub that right up there. But I'm going to start doing my tanning soon as well. Now I've got a tanned neck and a white chest. Mmm. We'll see how it buffs up. I look like I've been tangoed. It's very orangey. Mind you, we've got to put the foundation over the top. It feels nice. I can see a glow. Hope that light's okay. So let's start buffing it in. Yeah. I've been dying to use this. Oh, it really does tan your face. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Thoughts, ladies, let me know. Actually, I think that first initial application was a bit of a shock, but it doesn't look as bad as it did at the beginning. Now I've buffed that in. I quite like it. It just makes me look even more tanned. Once I'm using my fake tan, it, I understand where she's coming from. It will blend it in perfectly. Let's do some eyebrows. One of the pencils. Right, I'm using my Studio 10. Oh no. Right, foundation, that's what I need to do next, not, I mean looking at that I don't feel that I really need a lot of foundation on. I'm going to use my Code 8. I've got my Revolution, Super Drug Revolution, um, concealer to hand in case I don't like the banana low lighter I just feel that, that hides those impurities a little bit but I think I could have got away with that without any foundation you know yeah now that's even better Right, let's go in with the banana low lighter. I'm going to use it very sparingly. The other thing that I want to try by the Rodale is um, the glass powder. I've been hearing a lot of good things about that. So it, it's supposed to be really good for any uh, enlarged pores. Right. Let's see how this is going to blend in. If it lightens the lids, I'll be happy. Which it has. I should have done one eye and left one eye, shouldn't I? I like that. Definitely like that already. Not that really wakes those eyes up. I'm just going to pat that in to those dark creases and then I'm going to go back to it. I 
is such a contrast up against the uh, tanned face though. Sometimes I'll put it there, it just gives you a bit more of a fuller looking lip. Yeah, I do like it. I love it around the eyes. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's taken away any darkness. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with that. Right, let's, I'm going to use Studio 10 eyebrows. This pencil needs sharpening. I've just uh, received a new serum from Studio 10. They've gone into skincare and I'm, I've only read the box. It's just a PR sample. And uh, apparently it's a serum you put on and it minimises all your wrinkles before you put your makeup on so that's going to be really interesting we'll have a go at that very soon but today it's about this yes i like it <laughs> i'm quite surprised i was really worried about the banana low lighter i thought it was going to be way too light so my makeup's going to sit nicely on there now as well Oh, and I've just done a blog post on um, the bathroom renovation and I was writing it and I thought I haven't even shown it on YouTube yet on the, on the channel and uh, so I thought I'll do that today I'm going to show you in the bathroom I mean I know it's been done for ages forever and I've been meaning to show you so yeah, we're going to do that today. That's nice. I don't think I've used this one before. It's like a navy blue. Oh yeah, and I've got a light blue on the other end. I didn't even know I had that. That is a beautiful blue. Excuse that light. I'm going to try that i thought it was just another eyebrow pencil obviously it's not i didn't even look at it that bad love the studio 10 brushes they do everything Right, mascara, it's going to be a quick one. Lots to do today. I'm using the Dior, Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. Loving this mascara. I'm just going to put one coat on and that will do the job. It's really good. Oh, it's really blue, that eyeliner. <laughs> I never use blue, I always, always use brown. That's strange. I didn't even know I had that. Because they send me top-ups all the time. So I just thought, oh, it's another brown eye pencil. Stick it in the pot, Laurie. Badness. Right, lips. Coday have launched new lip pencils. I think I've shown them to you before. I've got three here. No, two. That's two, Laurie. There's a third one there. Yeah, so there's the three pencils. But this one in the middle, I use it all the time. If I'm not using that, I use 
Studio 10 one, but it's very, very natural looking. And then I'm going to use the Dior um, Codate Glaze. I've just got a new one in of these because I've, I've finished my other one. It was getting dry. But they, I wear these all through the day. They're lovely. And this is... I can't remember what it's called and I can't see it. I'll leave the name in there. In the box below but it's just a very oh god that light's terrible let's bring you in a little bit I'll have to sit back a bit that's it uh, it's a very natural shade this and it goes on like a m very moist I wouldn't say a lip gloss but it dries, but it stays, it doesn't dry like a, like a matte lipstick, you know the ones you get in the parts if that makes sense. Yeah, love it, I can, yeah it's not as brown as I thought it was going to be actually, maybe it's blends in well with the foundation, I'm not sure. I'm going to add on a little bit of this pink. I've just started getting into this, this Studio 10. Um, Studio 10, um, which is this called? Plumping Blush Glow Plexion. And I don't know why, I just thought I'm going to use that. I used it. Do the cheeks, Laurie. I'll give it a go the other day and I really liked it. Blend, lovely. I've just added a light little layer of bronze over the top there. Really nice. Might have gone a bit heavy there. Oh, that's better. Oh, I look I'm in this picture. It must be the light. It's going to chuck it down with rain now. It's too sunny, too rainy. That's it. We are done and good to go. Let's do the hair. I'll show you what I'm wearing and then I'm going to show you the bathroom. Oh, that's going to be... Might need a little bit of touching up. I hate it when I get these wingy bits. I've got the tongs to hand. Just tongue it the other way, Laurie. That's it. I really must do my roots. <laughs> they are so overdue, but my hair it's so grey now, I literally need to redo my hair every month. And I never used to do that. It used to be like every six, eight weeks. But now I'm getting greyer, it's getting just so much more noticeable. Which is sad. Makes me feel even more old. Anyway, that will do. I'm going to finish getting ready and then we'll have a look at that bathroom. That light is so blurry. Now, looking in there, I look quite orange. I don't hear odd. I don't know if it's that sun. We'll have another look in a minute. That's it already. See that coat in the background from the new inn? I need to get out and take some photos of that very soon. But I'm waiting for a non-rainy day. Um, I've got on the Roman Originals dress. The maxi dress. I've got my 
Primark slippers on and the belt that I got from Shein, I think this one is. Cheap as chips, but it finishes the dress off nicely. Oh, and the new watch. Yeah, really, really pleased with it. Still got blue on my hand. There's the blue. Quite a nice colour. I like the brightness of it. Yes, very pleased with that. I got it. Um, I got it sorted at the jewellers. They took the links out, and I love it. There's going to be a special offer um, for Nord Green coming up. It's a Valentine's special offer. So. Right, now as you know my house isn't big, it's a little two up, two down, but this is it. I know you've seen me do um, some skincare in here, but that's about all. I've not actually taken you through how it was done. Um, yeah, so this is it. And I'm really pleased with it. This is the sink unit with a huge mirror. And then there was a bath in here, but we had it changed into a shower just for more space. They can't get in a bath anyway because of a fibro. And I never really like a bath, only if it's special when I go to hotels or whatever. Please excuse the sound of that rain. But anyway, I decided to um, use the tiles floor to ceiling. Bit echoey. So it goes all the way up. And one of the things I didn't want to do was have lots of things put on the walls like towel rails and um, toilet roll holders so everything is movable because I changed my mind with accessories a lot and I didn't want to have loads of different holes everywhere through the years this has got to last uh, the toilets floating and I found that made a nice difference. It's lovely to be able to get all the way underneath and clean it. I've got the mother-in-law's tongue plant here. And this part is from um, the garden centre. You know, uh, the Hyde Hall Gardens where I go to visit Mum's Bench. I loved this print. Now... It's not a print actually, it's a freehand drawing by an artist and I had this in a box for years. It was given to me actually at a jewellery event and uh, I come home with some jewellery and in a box and this was inside as well and I kept it and I saved it and I've always thought I'm going to have that in my bathroom. I just love it, I think she's cute. Um, just your smellies, listen to the rain people, can you hear it? Right, getting on to the sink now. I, I, I bought the big round mirror so that everything wasn't too square. I just thought it softened everything a little bit. The, uh, the cubicle is square, the sink unit is square. This ledge over here is it's all very square so I decided to get a nice big round mirror and I am over the moon with this mirror. I really had a job finding a silver round mirror. I'll leave the links below. Um, everywhere you go you can get loads of round mirrors that are large but they're all gold. I remember I really had to shop around and I didn't want anything gold, everything else is silver, like the taps, 
Um, oh, that's gold there. My Emma Hardy. Um, what I'm using at the moment. And, you know, I, I, I featured these in the coronavirus needing the hydration and I've carried on with them. The cleanser's amazing. So these, these are the creams that I'm using at the moment. Um, yes, marble top sink, nice little taps. I've got a soap dish, uh, what I put my flannels in. I use a different flannel every day. I have a nice big pile of flannels. Um, soap dispenser. Oh, and this shell, this large shell, this was uh, brought home from Spain when I was four years old. And mum always had it in her bathroom and I had to have it in mine. I've got a piece of mum in every room of the house, so, but yeah, works perfectly actually. And this is... Um, Hyaluronic acid, it's only a tiny bottle, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, this is by, oh, I can't remember the brand, Typology. Really, really, you know, the gloopier the better, and this will not even run down your face. It's, it's a really thick hyaluronic acid, really pleased with that. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get back onto the bathroom. Uh, I've got this plant. It's gone dark, so it's starting to shut. But this will be massive in the summer. And I smuggled this home from Denmark, which is where my brother lives. It's looking a bit sorry for itself because it's not the right time of year. Sorry you can't see that, can you? So it opens in the day and closes at night and it's just gone dark and rained and it's all closed up this is what they look like when they're open that rain is unbelievable don't know if you can see that hammering on the windows right now as I said I didn't want any um, any screws any any fixtures so that I can just swap and change things as I like so I didn't want a bathroom cabinet, so I bought this sink unit, and this is where all my creams are, in here. <laughs> yep, yeah, the life of a blogger. And I use them all, believe it or not. You know, there's shampoos, there's tanning, I've got everything in there. So yeah, they're so deep. And then on the top, on this top one, it's just, you don't need to go in there, it's all... Um, sponges and all sorts and down here I've got another basket and this is where I store flannels I've got um, the iPads washable iPads flannels so I keep that under there yes uh, then we've got the shower now d -Lot wanted a waterfall, but I like an overhead. I don't know if you do, but I have to be upside down when I'm washing my hair. <laughs> so that just works better for me. But it's a lovely shower. We had, we had a pump put in in the loft. And it's worked out perfectly. I absolutely love it. Nice and powerful. The only thing that I regret is not coving the ceiling and I've been looking into finding um, coving that I've been looking into finding coving that um, will withstand you know steam from the bathroom and whatever so yeah I'm going to do that yeah so that's it oh and one other thing um, this is what we use in the shower because like I said I didn't want to have anything that was attached in the bathroom so I bought this, I bought this from Amazon, it's absolutely amazing, you just stick it on the wall, let's try and get it level, 
and then it's difficult with one hand you stick it on and that they will suck to the wall like that and honestly the amount of stuff we fit in this for the weight and it will not come off and that has been absolutely you have to really tug it to get it off and it's been amazing really over the moon with it and i think it was only cheap something like 12 pounds but um yeah so like i said i've got nothing attached to the walls i think the clean lines just makes it look so much better because it's a small room as well let's put the plant back Um, towel rail, it's just a simple towel rail, and that's it. Not a lot to see, but that is the bathroom. A couple of you have asked me about it. I hope you like it. Morning, it's not morning, it's nearly lunchtime. I have taken my time getting ready. Oh, the rollers are still on. Let's turn those off. Ah, I put the rollers in, but um, I've not washed my hair today. I'm gonna go and get a tint for my hair today, I think. So I'm going, look, the roots, oh, can you see them? They're really bad. Um, I'm gonna go and get a tint and do that, I think. I'll most probably tint my hair in the morning tomorrow. So I've not washed it, it's a little bit meh. Um, what am I doing today? I've got to plant up some daffodils that I've purchased. Yeah, I bought some daffodils and I'm going to put them in some vases. So I thought we could do that together. I've got to go and get the tint. The reason why I need my tint doing is because I don't know if you remember the uh, boat trip we were supposed to go on at the week uh, just before Christmas, I think it was, and it got cancelled because of the virus. Um, well that's back on and we're doing that on Valentine's night so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that and we're going to stay in a hotel in London as well just a cheap overnight um, I think it's one of the um, travel travel lodges you know because we're not we're barely going to be there we're going to get there at about four we leave at six and then we won't get back there until about half 11 at night so we're just gonna crawl into bed most probably go to sleep and then it's up in the morning and you have to leave so we've not booked anything special but i'm looking forward to the break really looking forward to it this is the outfit of the day i'm wearing the h&m dress i did actually just try a belt on with it i tried on a, a rope belt and it looked quite nice but a little bit dressy i'm not doing anything special today and this is so comfortable as it is so i'm just gonna leave it as it is i've put my cream boots on this time from dorothy perkins because they are mighty comfortable um i'm not going out yet but i can't show you a dress and slippers <laughs> i'm not doing that so i'm gonna go and get these flowers sorted out and yeah, what else was there that I needed to tell you? Oh, and then after that, I'm going to do the unboxing of all this. If you see under there, there's a fair amount of unboxing to do. So I thought I thought we'd go through those. It's not often that I do an unboxing with you. I haven't done one for some time. I know some of you are not too interested in the unboxings. Um, but I thought today it would make a change. So, let's go downstairs. Right, so I've gone and got some, you can hear my washing machine. Excuse the humming of the washing machine. Anyway, I've got some compost out of the garden. I've got these squares, these were mums, I'm pretty sure they're from Ikea. So I've got this one and I've got a small one. I'm sorry if that light keeps changing, it's because I've got the 
back door there with a huge window behind me. Um, daffodils, cheap as chips, and they were all in bud when I bought them two days ago because I did mean to film this yesterday. But look, they've opened already. This is not going to last five minutes. But hey, we'll give it a go. Look, there's a few here to come out. And I bought some moss from, um, florist moss from Amazon. And it's very dark. It's not what I wanted. I was hoping it was going to be a bit lighter. So I'm going to stick that on the top. I've got a big bag of shells, shells from the beach that Dee and I collected last year. I've put them on top of my garden pot so that um, it stops the weeds coming up. And I've got so many left over, uh, so I thought I'd make use of them. I've already stuck some in the bottom of this one. So I'm just going to put some dirt in between them for drainage. Maybe I, if this works, I might try something a little bit more permanent after. Because Mum used to do all these flower arrangements and I used to love it. And I'd like to learn a little bit if possible. Right, so I'm going to put one or two more shells in there. Can you see? Let's tilt you down a little bit. Right, now I'm going to put some spoon for... Oh, I'll take the rings off first, shall I? That would be a good idea, because I am so messy. Right, roll the sleeves up. Just going to put a little bit of dirt in there, compost. If I shake that down, that should work out quite well. It's quite wet, this compost. Yeah. That will dry off after. I'm going to put the, the short bulbs in the small one, I think. I think they'll only last a week or so anyway, but they will look nice. I'm going to have some clearing up to do after this. It's messy. I'm messy at everything. I'm messy at everything. Oh, it worked out quite well. I quite like it. Little daffodils. They'll look nice together, I think. I'm going to put some water in there. Right, number two.
guess it would have been easier to just put them in a vase, really. Ooh. I never realised daffodils had such roots. I just fancied a little project. I fancied making some mess. I have made a lot of mess. Actually, the moss is going quite a long way. I don't, I don't think that uh, disintegrates at all so that's going to come in handy it's only a few pounds so i'm quite pleased with that i'd like to do something like this at easter as well so you could have little easter bunnies in it and eggs i think we might try that ladies I'm quite pleased look at the mare I'm gonna go and find somewhere to put these and we'll have a look oh they came out quite well they'll be pretty for a week come out quite well. The moss didn't go too bad because um, I thought it was going to be a bad colour but it's not. Yes, I'm quite pleased. Right, now it's been cloudy all day. I come and sit in here and the sun comes out. So let's hope it's not going to be too glary. I've got all three eyes today for some reason. I've washed my hands the best I could after, after all that mess that I've made. Oh my goodness. Um, yes, I thought we'd do these unboxings. And if you watched the last weekly vlog, you'll remember I spoke to you about the Aquis hair towel that I had on my head. And I've done my picture. It's on Instagram. I'll throw one up. I'll throw the picture up. And they, I, I did say, they asked me if I wanted an, a new towel. And they sent one, but it was pink. It's a pink towel. And in the picture, I wanted to copy the Carrie Bradshaw picture. And she was wearing the white towel that I already had. So, yeah, they've sent me a pink one. And like I said, I've had that white towel for six years and it's still going strong. I didn't really need a new one, but it's nice to have a spare. So I've got a pink one, and this is the said towel. Now this is what I was saying, it's not like a towel. See how thin it is? They are absolutely brilliant. This will soak every bit of water out of your hair. You, that's the whole idea of it, that you don't have to rub your hair after uh, wrapping it in a towel because uh, it's not good for the cuticles is it and that's what gives you the dry ends and the frizz you know that looking that dry looking hair but I've always used mine and I absolutely love them so yeah I've got a pink one and they've also sent me a turban as well which I'm just about to show you they come in these handy packets which are handy for taking away because they're waterproof or if you was to go swimming you can just shove them straight back in there until you get home. This is the turban so I did get a white turban. I think they make such a good gift idea. These would make great Mother's Day presents. Yeah this is the turban. So it's elasticated 
you've got a white button with the orange logo at the front there, the Aquis logo. They're not cheap for towels, but I guarantee if you was to try one of these towels, you wouldn't use anything else. Honestly, they are so good. I'll leave the link again, but they were so pleased with the picture. It was fun to do. I took hundreds to try and get it as near as possible to the photo of Carrie Bradshaw, but believe me, it was not easy. How can anyone look like her anyway? Yeah, so really pleased with them. Hair Strong Aquis. Very good brand, recommend them. So that's that. Um, look fabulous forever, I've sent me a couple of bits. Now they've just launched a play hydrating hydrating clay mask now I never knew that now I never knew that clay was hydrating so I'm looking forward to giving this a try it comes in a tube let's have a look is it white or is it oh it's pink most clay masks are pink must have something to do with the clay in it I suppose Yeah, it feels creamy. I've got a few clay masks. It don't, they don't feel like this. The writing's too small. I've got no glasses. But I am very much looking forward to it. But I was so glad they asked me about trying the clay mask because I was desperate for some of the um, Instant Bright Highlight pen. I don't know if you remember, I started using this about last summer time and I've not really used it and I absolutely loved it it's brilliant for under the eyes so yeah don't know if it's been no. it's got that tiny little shimmer in it that will I don't know how it works but it's brilliant under my eyes it just really brightens them up and I can't wait to get a replacement. And I also asked them for a new lip pencil because their lip pencils are the uh, lip brush. Their lip brushes are the absolute best. And I lost mine, I think I left it in a hotel some time ago. So it was lovely to talk to them and uh, get a new one of them. So I'm very pleased about that. And oh, a lip gloss. Interesting. I haven't had any of their lip glosses. Oh, that's a lovely shade. Look, very natural. It's like a corally pink. Let's get a mirror and have a little try. Although I do have a slight pink on. nice I like that it's a great everyday neutral that will be going over most of my lipsticks I like that I use the um, look fabulous forever they just launched um, a high stain power lipstick and I use those a lot as well true coral I think it is that I use you've seen the look fabulous forever film anyway you might have done. I rate their makeup. So if you'd like to have a look at that, I'll leave the link for it down below, actually, in the box. Um, Studio 10, another makeup brand that I love. They've just launched into skincare. And this is Miracle Effect Serum. Now, I've read the box and it does say on here that you apply this and within five minutes before putting your makeup on it helps diminish the fine lines so I'm really looking forward to having a try of this 
just put some on my hand. So there's my hand now. It's not really that wrinkly. One pump. Doesn't smell of anything, so I love that. See if it gives a smoother effect. Feels lovely. It's not gloopy, it's quite fine. It's not like putting a cream on. We'll see what that does. I'll have to, uh, next, in the next weekly vlog, I'll apply that before I apply any makeup. So it's going to be interesting to see, isn't it? It certainly made my hand look better. I have a bruise on my hand. Hmm. What else have we got? Oh, some jewellery. Gingerberry. This is by Gingerberry. And I love this pearl necklace. It's different different sizes of pearls and I just thought that's so classic they asked me if I wanted to choose a couple of pieces and I thought that was lovely you can have it choker or you've got a longer chain there and I've got a discount code for these as well so I'll put the discount code in the bottom but I really liked that it's not my favourite piece though my favourite piece is the bracelet this is absolutely beautiful. Look at the links. Really, really lovely. I was really pleased with this and I'm going to wear this a lot. Really, really like that. It's gold plated I think or gold vermeil. It's one or the other. But I thought that was beautiful. And out of all the jewellery brands that I've spoken about in the past year, this is the most economical. I can't tell you how it's going to wear because I've not worn it long enough yet. But it's a lot cheaper. But I think that is beautiful. It's a lot cheaper than the Monica Veneda and the Anna Luisa that I normally share. Yeah, I've got a chain link necklace as well so I thought that was pretty it's quite short so I'd use the chain on this one yeah I like that as well very nice yeah very pleased with those items like I said I'll leave the um, discount in the box below as well uh, wonder cosmetics it's all my favorite brands they've all been sending me bits i've sent a perfect selfie this is called hd finishing powder now of all the makeup brands that i use i think this is the most economical you can buy this on amazon if you used to buy anything from this brand though it would be one of these brushes they are brilliant I absolutely love these br brushes. They're great for bronzer, um, foundation. They're great for blending in your foundations. You know I use the um, powder foundation from Wonder. And even blush, you know, just a little. They're such beautiful brushes. Really lovely. And my other one has lasted so well. So this is going to help um, cover your pores up, enlarged pores, and slightly erase those lines, I guess. Let's have a look. I can't see a lot of difference. No, I'd have to use it on a bare face first, I think. But yeah, looking forward to... Um, Trying that. Anything that's going to help the pores look smaller will be. Anything that's going to help the pores look smaller will be good. Mine are quite large on my nose here and just around here. 
that's why the retinol's good and the exfoliation and getting onto that. Now this is exciting me. This is by a brand called Banish. They've sent me their special cream, Banish Vitamin C Cream. I know it's a firm cream because uh, I did have a little try of it. Look, you can't even stick your finger in there. But apparently this is brilliant for um, any scarring. People that have had acne. So I'm thinking about this chin area. And you get a little, it's very similar to a derma roller, but I think it's a little bit deeper than your normal derma roller. And these are actually tiny gold needles. I'm not going to be able to show you, I don't think. I'm not sure if you can see those needles. But yeah, the plan, the plan is you dab that on twist dab twist dab um i'm not going to put it on my face because i've got makeup on but yeah and then you apply the cream after and it's supposed to really help with scarring and i think it will help with pores as well um derma rolling i don't know if any of you've used it it's quite good for anti-aging it will help your serum sink into your skin more but this is a super duper one that's gold and i'm looking forward to trying this i'll most probably share with you the results as well i will be sharing the results because i'm quite excited about it that's it so that's going to be interesting um and last one, another one I'm excited about, Natucane. Now, do you remember the Natucane hair serum that I use? I'm still using it. I use it morning and night, and I have got new hair growth. And I was really impressed with it. And they asked if I'd like to try their new lash and brow growth serums well i was happy with the hair products that they sent so yes there's them to me and that's what i've got one brow one lash so that's going to be interesting now most lash serums irritate my eyes i've been sent so many and I have still yet to find one that's not going to irritate me. So that's going to be interesting. I will let you know. If any of you use lash serums or brow serums and then they've irritated you. Let's just open this. So this is the Lash Serum. Yeah. So you're just going to brush that on. It doesn't smell of anything. Their serums are mainly made, I'm pretty sure, of bamboo. Let's have a look. They're vegan and contain no hormones. They are the perfect solution for long, longer lashes and denser brows. The groundbreaking Natucane patented hair growth formula MKM S24 ensures clinically proven 54% denser brows and 52% longer lashes. And I remember that with the... Um, hair serum they've got this special patented formula and it does work it didn't work to begin with it took a good six eight weeks for me to start seeing a difference but once it did start working it's definitely thickened out i was so pleased because i 
lost a big patch of hair here when mum died and it was uh, quite annoying. I didn't think it was ever going to grow back. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that and I will continue to carry on using my Natricane hair serum. I've still got some left. I think I'm coming up to a year of using it now and I've still got some left. They're, they're bottles about that big, but, you know, I only used the one pump on there, so it's, it's done well. It's quite expensive. I think I've got a special offer code for that as well, and the uh, eye and lash serums. So, yeah, that would help. That would help. Yeah, take a look, though. Anyway, all the information will be in the box below this week. I'm going to shoot off now and go and get that hair tint so i'll most probably see you tomorrow i woke up this morning and i thought i'm going to have to stop this blog short but it's actually nearly an hour long um i've got some sad news we lost chuzzle a couple of days ago i've not picked the camera up it's been very sad. Don't cry, Laurie. Okay. Take two. Yes, it, it's uh, it's been quite difficult. Bo has taken it really badly because Chuzzle's like her mum, you know. She's very, very quiet. And uh, we we just didn't see it coming. I know she'd been diagnosed with the diabetes, but she seemed to be getting along fine. And then one day she just, I could just tell there was something not right. And we decided to take her to the vets the next morning. And um, I woke up in the morning and she, she was more or less gone, you know, it, it was awful. But yeah, anyway, that's the news. So, sorry to end on a bad note and I'll see you next week. <laughs>